not ever really big on having an exercise routine when the 52-year-old Mo Karen found out she had osteopenia, a precursor to osteoporosis. Her doctor told her she should try Pilates. I was devastated. Devastated. Because I'm pretty, not wood, pretty healthy, really. And when they told me that I was in trouble, I said, oh my God. She says it was lucky for her she found Pilates instructor Rebecca Rothstein, who specializes in osteoporosis and post-rehabilitation, working out of the Kane School of Core Integration. Because while Pilates and many other forms of exercise may help build strength and improve alignment, with bone loss, some movements can put you in deeper jeopardy. Pilates especially is often advocated because it is easy on the joint. However, what is not understood is that three quarters of the classical Pilates mat exercises that you would encounter in a typical Pilates mat class, say at the gym, involve these dangerous movements of forward bending. Experts say exercises where you bend forward or twist your waist like doing sit-ups actually compress the bones in the spine and can lead to fractures when bones are weak. High impact exercises like running, jogging, and jumping can also put you at risk. But you definitely want to build your um, upper and lower extremity strength, your core strength safely. Um, walking, uh, low impact type aerobics, these are all very helpful uh, type exercises. But that doesn't mean you have to stay away from the Pilates studio. Rotstein was diagnosed with osteoporosis from a very early age herself. Now in her early 30s, she's developed a modified approach that focuses on things like moving from the hip joint instead of the spine, along with flexibility and balance training. By exercising this way, Rotstein says she's been able to help herself and her clients improve bone density. Rotstein has been able to reverse her osteoporotic state, and Karen's condition is also stabilized. Just because your bones may be fragile does not mean that you're fragile. There are a number of things that can be done even though we're not trying to move forward or sideways through the spine. And as always, if you're not sure if a workout regimen is right for you, consult with your doctor. In Manhattan, Cathedral, New York 1.